Introducing first, from Flint, Michigan, weighing in at 180 pounds, Jarek, 120. And his opponent, already in the ring from Kansas City, Kansas, weighing in 187 pounds, Damian Smith. Boy from Kansas! How good is Kansas ever beat this? Oh, thank you. Never! I don't know what Jarek 120 was saying to us right now. But I never like when he talks to me at all. Making eye contact with him is like making eye contact with a shark. It's just creepy and strange. When have you made eye contact with a shark? I watch a lot of Discovery Channel. Yeah, you can't Very just stare close at your to the TV screen and assume you're making eye contact with a shark. It's Joe. like it's looking right at me, just like Jarek 120 does so when do he you, comes out here and he's super creepy. So do you punch your TV set? Like it's a sh shark's eye? I kind of just hide under the covers. Anyways, look, I'm just glad Jarek 120's not stuck with us on commentary this time. And you know, he's going up against Damian Smith, who hasn't had a lot of luck debuting here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood several weeks ago. He's taken a couple of months off. He's lost a little bit of weight. He's been at our Wrestle Center trying to train up. He's, he's showing he's got some strength there. He's lost a little bit of weight. He's a little bit leaner. Let's hope he's a little bit meaner. Jarek 120 now, using the ropes to his advantage. Oh, Damian Smith not backing down, even though we've seen the tactics of Jarek 120 over the past couple of weeks. Well, I mean, what he's been doing to Yuma and his family over the past month has been absolutely deplorable. It's been despicable. It's been devious. When it comes down to it, we don't know if we're ever going to see Yuma again. He's got the grade three concussion. He's lucky he didn't go into respiratory failure being suspended upside down. And the scary thing is, Joe, besides that, right into the corner, the scary thing is Jarek 120 had help. He was able to brainwash a group of maniacs. I mean, that's terrifying. He wanted to be taken seriously, and sadly enough, as he's stomping away on Damian Smith, we know just how dangerous Jarek 120 is. He's not just a puppet being pulled by strings. He can destroy people. He's definitely learned a lot under the tutelage of Bateman, the television champion, as he does target that left leg of Damian Smith. Tutelage is one way to describe it. And now going for the cover here. This might be enough. Damian Smith able to escape. Damian Smith fighting hard, though. Whoa! Oh, right into the ropes! Right along the hamstring of Damian Smith. Not to mention the fact that he did land in the back of his neck. That deranged look. And of course, everything Jarek 120 does, you have to wonder, Bateman's watching. Bateman knows exactly what Jarek 120 is up to. And the question is, is there anyone, is anyone gonna challenge Bateman for the television title? I mean, the guy's been completely dominant ever since taking it from James Morgan. He's been a very strong contender, but a lot of his victories have come with the help of Jarek 120. But now as Jarek 120 seems to branch off and... Oh, what a huge clothesline by Damian Smith! Gonna say it's Jarek 120 is gonna find success fighting on his own, but Damon Smith could change that right now. Well, that left leg clearly still affecting him, but three clotheslines in a row. Great counter by Damian Smith staying in this fight. Oh, oh. Suplex into the corner, and Damian Smith's on fire. That time off for Damian Smith obviously paid dividends. Jarek 120. Oh no, Johnny, it's the clowns. Jeez. Oh God, it's the clowns. What the hell? Oh, Fisherman suplex, this might be it. And the clowns pulling the leg of Damian Smith and the ref didn't even see it. What the hell is going on here? Oh, hate clowns, what are they doing here? These are the same clowns that attacked Yuma. I mean, what? You, you gotta call this match, I mean, come on. Referee trying to get order. Oh my goodness, the handcuffs to the face. He had the handcuffs in his trunks. The whole time. Come on. Here is your winner, oh. Jarek 120. Jarek 120 steals one. Let's go to a replay brought to you by the Dark Art Emporium in Long Beach. Go to darkartemporium.com where you can find art that might be overlooked by the general public. Oh my goodness, Let's Jarek. look at it right here. Damian Smith with an incredible fisherman suplex going for the pin. Then these buffoons come out here, break up the pin, interfere in the match, and then Jared 120 hits him with the handcuffs. Let's go to Grandpa Choco. This is awful.
All right, Jerk 120, uh, your victory here tonight over Damian Smith was certainly cause for celebration, but I hear that you have a bigger celebration in plan for everyone here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Well, let me cut you off right there, Greg. Yeah, I do. My birthday's coming up. I hope you come along. I do. Secondly, everyone keeps asking me why. Laquasto, Joey, you ask me why I do this to Yuma. I'm, I'm the victim here. People just think I'm crazy, but there is a damn good reason why I do what I do. I'm the victim. I was just trying to film Yuma. His family just happened to be in the shot. That's not my fault. Now he thinks I'm some crazy psycho. And I'm the victim. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look, this is the right carpet rumble. You see right there, me going to throw Yuma over the top rope. He throw, he pulled a little sleight of hand on his own. I held on like an ox, but that was a knockout shot, Grant. So here's, shut up, shut up. So here's my problem. Yeah, that red carpet rumble elimination, that may mean nothing to you people. That may mean nothing to Yuma, but it meant everything to me. That was my one shot at championship gold. But now my new goal was fulfilled. I made Yuma disappear. And you're never gonna see Yuma again, ever. Scary words from Jerk 120. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Jerk